you know if, uh, most of the times we have to use only vt power n next is machinability ability or ease with which machining of a given component can be done ease with which machining of a given component can be done it's called machinability so machinability as the surface finish increases machinability increases so cutting forces and power decreases forces and power decreases machinability increases tool life as tool life increases machinability also increases as the temperature of the chip increases machinability decreases it is like in you know, a relation between the machinability and the different factors type of chip if it is discontinuous chip better machinability so this machinability is measured by using machinability index that's about the machinability and next is next topic is grinding grinding is one of the finishing operation grinding is a finishing operation so here multi point cutting tool is used machining operation used for producing good surface finish in the component is generally grinding approximate shape of abrasive particles is rectangular or cubical approximate cross section of chip produced during grinding is triangular at the grind as a grinding is in programming i mean the in programming the abrasive particles will get wear out progressive as the grinding is progressing sorry the abrasive particles will get wear out slowly and becomes blunt as grinding in progressing the abrasive particles will get wear out slowly and becomes blunt so after some time the blunt abrasive particles are started rubbing on the workpiece so that rubbing forces rub, this rubbing forces produced will pull out the blunt abrasive particle so after some time the this blunt abrasive particle
or started rubbing on the work piece so that the rubbing forces forces the blunted cutting tool blunted whatever the blunted forces produced will will pull out the blunt abrasive particles so that fresh and new abrasive particle particle present behind the blunt abrasive particle will come come into action so like this it is repetitive process because you there is no method for you know like there is no tool suppose if you have single point cutting tool if it becomes blunt we go for sharpening by grinding or some other methods but if the grinder itself is becoming blunt means then you know, you know there is no tool for sharpening that actually so what we need to do is so the it, you know the grinding goes on like you know even the becomes blunt also it goes on once the rubbing starts out the blunted tools the cutting tools will come out so new tools will generate so new tools will again come into the action cutting uh, mode so after it becomes blunt again it will come out and new tools will form so this shell process takes place this is called shelf sharpening this is called shelf sharpening of grinding wheel so abrasive particles are much hardening the work piece out of the different conventional machining methods grinding requires largest specific cutting energy because random orientation of abrasive particles that is generally about 22 to 35% of abrasive particles present the surface are only acting as cutting tools and the remaining abrasive particles are simply rubbing on the workpiece without doing any machining so lower penetration low penetrating action of the abrasive particle that is even the abrasive particles are even the abrasive particles are becoming blunt or fs effectiveness so to penetrate into the work piece and remove the larger depth of material but the bonding material present besides the abrasive particles is not allowing the abrasive particle to penetrate into the work piece here there is one machining ratio or grinding ratio which is one small formula machining ratio or grinding ratio equal to material removed on work piece divided by volume of tool wear
if the tool wear is zero then grinding or machining ratio will become infinity so it doesn't happen in grinding so grinding wheel notation designation designation of grinding wheel so first it is defined as some you know particular method this is abrasive al203 or b4c different abrasives next one is called grit grit is nothing but grain size next is grade next is structure of grading structure next is bond material this actually this type of question are important for ies get they never asked in this for ies this is one of the you know one more question so that's about grinding if you go in detail there are lot of things to discuss but because of time constraint we are briefly touching the concepts so next topic is unconventional machining why what is unconventional machining why do we need to do unconventional machining that's more important so why do we need to do un you know conventional machining we know that you know whenever the uh, in conventional machining in the first class of the topic in the first slide or the first uh, hour of the topic we discussed that mm. conventional machining the hardness of the tool is greater than the hardness of the work piece and in non conventional machining it may or may not be and in conventional machining you can't uh, you know produce micro holes but in unconventional machining you can produce so why do we need to go for unconventional machining so few points we discuss for 15 minutes unconventional machining it is also called non traditional machining unconventional machining is also called non traditional machining so why do why we go for non conventional machining or unconventional machining why do we go for this is the question so answer is to produce non circular holes we use unconventional machining Unconventional we do is unconventional machining at following required situations when we use unconventional machining. So first one is to generate non-circular holes. so generally in drilling we know that drilling reaming uh, honing all these are circular holes actually you want to generate circular hole you go for drilling to generate non circular holes conventional machining you can it's impossible so that's why you go for non conventional machining and non circular holes is one to generate micro holes to produce micro holes next one is 
machining highly brittle materials brittle materials like glass ceramics machining very soft material like rubber so generating complex shapes so because of all these reasons we go for non conventional machining first one ultrasonic machining so ultrasonic machining is here it is one of the method where you can produce holes rectangular holes and holes in the brittle materials mechanism is brittle fracture so the tool oscillates there is no direct contact between the tool and work piece mechanism is brittle fracture no contact tool moves at high frequency tool oscillates sorry oscillates at high frequency without contacting without touching the work piece here generally in conventional machining the tool has to be directly contact with the work piece then only you can remove material but here it may or may not be in this case ultrasonic machining there is no need to be the tool and the work piece has to be in contact even though if they are not in contact but whenever the tool oscillates the actually we use abrasive slurry also along with this abrasive slurry so this uh, we pour abrasive slurry where abrasive particles will be there these abrasive particles will come in contact with the tool and uh, the tool oscillating at high frequency it will hit the abrasive particle that abrasive particle will come and hit the work piece so because of the action and uh, direct hitting of the work piece there is uh, the abrasive particle will take out the material from the work piece so like this you know energy will transfer from the tool to abrasive particle from the abrasive particle to the you know the abrasive particle will take out the work piece so this is the mechanism like you know brittle fracture and the medium is abrasive slurry application so it is used in for you know non circular holes to generate or to produce non circular holes or to produce holes on teeth that means produce 
teeth is a brittle material and similar to the machining the brittle material also can be done in ultrasonic machining so there are other methods like edm electric discharge machining so electric discharge machining here the mechanism is melting and evaporation so material melting and evaporation so electricity has to be supplied such that heat is generated and the between the anode and the uh, elect, uh, elect, electric because of the spark generated between the anode and cathode and uh, you know because of that heat generation uh, it is melting it may uh, the material workpiece melts and evaporates so that's a uh, you know a dielectric medium also is used dielectric fluid is that dielectric fluid like kerosene is used as medium here holes are in diesel engine nozzles or applications holes in diesel engine nozzles or by using electric discharge machine similarly electrochemical machining electrochemical is due to the based on the ion displacement so electrochemical machining ecm i am discussing important points here because of time constraint so electrochemical machining mechanism is ion displacement ion dis ions move from anode to cathode similarly from cathode to anode so more ions will move from anode to cathode so that's why we keep the workpiece material as anode so that it will more material will remove medium is salt solution for electrolysis so non machining zone is covered with insulation it is application is curvatures curvature holes so excellent surface finish will be produced because of ion movement next one is water jet machining so here a jet of water is allowed at a, you know speed onto the material mechanism is plastic deformation and fracturing
so here shoes are actually manufactured with the help of water jet machine so applications are to cut soft materials like rubber next another machining is electron beam machining instead of water from jet a you know jet of electrons is passed from the jet electrons are passed high speed electrons are passed from jet you know in vacuum so here kinetic energy is converted to heat energy so melting and evaporation takes place this is used for highly reactive materials mechanism is melting and evaporation vacuum is a medium here kinetic energy of electrons converts into heat energy application to machine highly reactive materials